My name is Hannah Maurer Sibley. I work as a product manager with Ericsson and I'm based in Stockholm. Well, LTE in Asia is of course fantastic. We know that 41% of all the subscribers are now residing in the Asia Pacific region. The LTE subscribers are growing and it's the fastest growing market. It's Korea and Japan that are the fastest growing markets in LTE today. Well, the new applications I think we've been looking for since, you know, the day, the earliest days of LTE, and I think it hasn't really been that one killer application has been the driver for LTE, but what Ericsson's belief is, is that video is the driver for the traffic growth. And then there are all kinds of different applications for, for video content, but as a driver, as a general mechanism, video will be the vast majority of the, of the growth. Ericsson is also talking about in the future bringing broadcast as part of LTE into the mix. And then if you have a critical number of people in a certain area that wants to watch the same thing at the same time, then LTE broadcast can be brought to market, and then it's an even more efficient way to bring out content to many people. Well, it is a new concept, of course. It needs to be supported by terminals. And uh, Ericsson had a demonstration in Mobile World Congress in 2012, uh, showing a proof of concept uh, of the EMBMS, as it's called, together with Qualcomm. And uh, it is a new part of the standards, so it needs to be brought to market in that, in that context. And also, the back the backbone network needs to be supported for, for EMBMS with, uh, with servers and so forth. And also, of course, for the operators to elaborate on the content, to get hold of content, and to have rights for content for certain things. This is, of course, also another you know, hurdle or, or uh, challenge to bring it to market. But it's an interesting proposition. Network performance is key today, and it will actually improve and then be in even more importance as we go into the future. We know as the traffic increases and as new phones are being brought to the market, iPhone 5 is one example, right? Uh, users are being more and more scrutinizing of their operator quality in the network. So Ericsson has said this for a long time, and uh, the network quality is extremely important, and we have a large focus area within our company to make sure that we deliver superior products into the market. Well, this event has a lot of operators in it, and of course that's always our main target. Come here and see all the operators in this region that maybe myself don't meet so often since I'm based in Stockholm. So the operators and also some of the other uh, ecosystem players that were here today on the panel discussions, that's really the, the interesting parts.